Well, today police shared some new clues in the mystery of a missing University of Portland student, Owen Klinger. This is a picture of him you're seeing on your screen. Police say he may have gone off the grid of his own accord, but his parents say that just doesn't seem like him. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel has all this new information and joins us live now from North Portland with the very latest. Audrey? Yeah, Wayne, we're at the intersection where police say Owen was last seen. That would be North Willamette Boulevard and Portsmouth Avenue. And now police are connecting where Owen went from here to what he'd been watching before he left. I don't know where he is, and that's, that's, that's why I can't sleep. And it's really hard to eat. We just don't know, and everything that we imagine is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. After a week and a half without her son, Owen, Mary Klinger describes the latest information from police like getting socked in the stomach. It made us feel like they were giving up and not going to follow other other leads and other other potential outcomes. Police now saying based on their investigation that after Owen left campus just before eight Sunday night, October 6th, he was seen walking on North Willamette Boulevard and Portsmouth Avenue toward Lombard Street. From there, investigators believe he walked further north toward Columbia Boulevard. They say he was walking in an area where freight trains are commonly staged and that investigators believe before his disappearance, he'd been watching videos about hopping freight trains and had watched the movie Into the Wild which is about a young man who goes to Alaska to live off the grid. The idea that he has gone off into the wild on his own doesn't doesn't sit with with the Owen that we know who is connected to his friends, connected to his family, connected to this community. His mom says she recognizes it is one theory and that it's a happier ending than possible alternatives. But she and the community of volunteers helping out aren't stopping. Just want to show you a picture of Owen. Dozens of them spent the afternoon searching. One group on the east and west sides of the downtown waterfront area, the other in North Portland. We don't want to give up until we find Owen. And today, police also said that Owen turned off his cell phone before leaving campus that Sunday night. But Mary says, how do they know that he was the one to turn off his cell phone? It could have gone off another way. I asked police how they know that, but they haven't gotten back to me yet. Live in North Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12, Oregon.